Hi guys and welcome to the fifth and final part of the PGR2 game night from the 17th of October and we're in the track special series for these sets of events starting off with pretty much everybody in the Noble each one in a different colour by the looks of it pretty cool but uh, HSV already lagging all over the place drifting into the first corner teleports to the other side of me then completely comes to a stop so that didn't make any sense to start things off but this is a quick car and hard to get used to after being in the American muscles. Uh, so that makes things even more interesting for everybody. But uh, in fifth place at the moment. Henkow just in front. I think Knoll's in front of that. And we've got Jerick there in uh, second place, I think. And this lags horrendously for me on this bit. This bit going around these corners, the game just slows down completely. And uh, I think everybody else was complaining about some sort of uh, lagging or glitching in the game so that might have been me driving through that bit of the track because my game just does not like that corner at all but moving up into third place on the second lap and hit the barrier and completely skid into the other barrier to a complete halt going down to fifth place I think that was Noll and Henkow that just uh, overtook me there so in first place is absolutely gone already Managed to avoid all of the uh, craziness of the first few corners. And it looks like HSV is behind me in sixth place. And Henkow goes into the central res reservation, which is so easy to do on that corner. So he completely grinds to a halt. And again, Barry disappearing. Not quite as bad lag through there that time. But uh, everybody crashing through that bit. It's pretty difficult. But uh, able to go on the inside of Knoll on that corner. Up into third place again for the second time. And we can see Jerick in the distance a couple of seconds ahead. So we've got to see if we can take this hairpin better this time. Which we do manage to, just about. Come around uh, this corner, which is actually quite hard to do. Quite hard to get right. You have to stick close to that apex and sort of swing the car around to this one. And I power slided way too much there. Lost a lot of speed. But uh, this is weird as well. Jarrett lags in front, then behind. So the first teleport overtake I've seen. And uh, back into this section. Taking it better this time, even with all the lag going on. Very uh, crazy race this one. The net code is going all over the place. But that is how that one finished. Uh, wasn't going to catch Sakis up at that point. I think we stayed a fairly the same distance apart after that. 11 seconds by the time I got into second place, and that's where it finished. So, Jarrett gets third, Noll in fourth, Henkow fifth, HSV sixth. And unfortunately, Wally didn't have the Noble, so he uh, came in seventh there in the Lotus. But uh, in Sydney still for this race. And I think uh, Wally's upgraded his car to the 911 GT2 from the Extreme Series. So that's more matched with the Noble's acceleration. And already some crazy lag again on the first corner. But uh, going pretty much four abreast down that side of things. And then understeering into the into the wall or oversteering, should I say. And then Wally's sliding all over the place. That is a very slidey car, that Porsche. Very hard to control. But coming around this bit, get nudged from behind into the central reservation. Noel goes in there as well. Spins around completely and Wally crashes into him. So that's two out. Well, three, including me in that corner. Completely spun round. Uh, coming round the, this fast section here into the hairpin. And looks like we've got Jerick in front and HSV just in front of him. And taking that fairly okay and trying to get to grips with this corner because it's really hard to know how fast to take that in the car you're in. You've got to go around that at least once or twice to know the limit of how quick you can go around there. But uh, hitting the wall, so slowing down massively. So there's still a couple in sight that we can catch here. Five laps this time. And it looks like Wally's in sixth, just behind. Three seconds. And again, trying to take this pretty hard. Doing it a little bit better that time. I did turn in a bit too early. And was too close to the inside of that section. But we can see three in front. In the same similar, well, same sort of uh, area. The Jerick, and I think that's HSV, and... I think that might be Henkow that just comes to the uh, other side of the central res reservation there. 
coming back to the hairpin again. And lots of lag, lots of crashing. Three right next to each other up ahead. So we've got a potential triple overtake if we can get anywhere near it. Managed to just scrape the barrier and get on the other side of Henkow. So gain one position there. Coming up to behind Jerick. Crossing the line for the third lap. Have to break before that uh, the crest of that hill. Otherwise it's far too late by the time the car reaches the ground again. It does get a bit of air up there. But right on the tail of Jerick now. Again, trying to judge this corner better. Just hit the inside of the barrier, throwing me off a little bit, but managed to recover fairly well and get a good corner, considering, around there. Going around here, HSP goes into the central reservation, so he's another victim of that corner. And now, three of us in this small space, fighting for second place. First place is gone again. I think that's Sakis who got away at the start once more. Around the hairpin for the third time. Just getting stuck behind Jerick a little bit. But then managing to lay off the throttle and just undercut him. Quite a nice move there into second place. And HSV is in fourth behind Jerick there. Crossing the line for the fourth lap. Again, breaking just before the crest of that hill. Sakis is actually six seconds ahead. But again, that is how it finished. Second place again. Uh, fighting our way back through the pack again for the second time. But uh, finishing six seconds behind, so again, we didn't really, uh, I didn't gain any time or lose any time on Sakis there after the next couple laps. But uh, that's going to be it for using the Noble. So we decided to use the other cars available in the track specials because it is a bit OP, that Noble. And we're on this track that's incredibly hard to do. This sort of weird tooth, sideways tooth track as I called it. It does look a bit like that, but I'm in the Dodge Viper. Henkow's in the Porsche. I think uh, Jerick's right behind me in the Viper as well. Thinking about it, I wish I'd picked the Porsche here because the Dodge isn't that good, really. A little bit slidey. Ferrari and the, the Porsche are a little bit better to drive, I think. But Henkow's in the lead, taking that corner nicely with a slide. I didn't quite slide around enough, so I uh, didn't get the speed I wanted through there, but Jerick's still right behind in the Dodge. This corner is incredibly hard to take at full speed. As you can see, I'm spinning, uh, under braking or squirming a little bit. And Henkow does crash into the barrier. Managing to take that a little bit better. But there's definitely that one corner that's the hardest to take. And uh, you can ease off slightly here and go through here into the second lap. With Jerick still behind, second and a half. Still in there. There's a, quite a few... That are uh, battling there so we're just going to wind it forward it's not much happens for the first well for the next few laps anyway the Kenkow re-overtakes um, Jerick into second place three and a bit seconds behind crossing for the third lap still three and a bit seconds behind and this corner's quite hard to take you've got to get a nice slide on around that hairpin really tight corners in this so you do have to um Especially in the quick cars, get that slide on. So you can point the nose in the right direction before accelerating. But Sakis is now in second place. In the Porsche, I believe, as well. So he drives that pretty well. So whether we can hold off until the finish. Three seconds behind now, so I'm just going to leave it from here. Again, this corner is really hard to take. And I did that horrendously. That's the worst I did it in the whole race. And he gains a lot of time through there. Two and a bit seconds now. You can see him now in the rear view. So he's managed to save quite or get quite a bit of time back on me. Cross the line for the final lap. 1.5 seconds behind now. So I've really got to try and drive well to hold him off. Around the slidey section. Went a little too wide there. Wanted to stick a bit closer to the apex, but still not horrendous. I think he's just about the same distance behind now. Really trying to get my bearings with this car and track. See him again. Right behind. 1.4, so he's probably gained a tenth through there. But we've got this really difficult corner to do. Luckily, I take that probably one of the best I've done in the race. Because that is really difficult at high speeds. And we've only got one corner to go, but he did catch up slightly through there. And round there, I think he tries to go really quickly and does hit the barrier. 
So uh, that slowed him up a lot. So we're able to cross the line for the first win of the track specials. We've got a couple second places and a win. But uh, give it a, f a few more laps, I'm sure Sakis would have been right on my tail again. But uh, Henkar gets third, Jerick in fourth in Dodge Viper, Noll was in the Challenge Stradol in fifth, HSV in the Honda NSX, which is an interesting one, quite a slow car to use, and Wally was in the GT40 this time. Well, the last race and this race is in the GT40, but I move into the Challenge Stradol for this one. Much prefer this, and Jerick does the same. Nacho's joined us in the Porsche, and Sakis is... Oh, that's Nacho, in... yeah, Sakis is in the Porsche as well, so he stayed in that. And I get absolutely pinned on the first corner. Right back into seventh place. Was in eighth briefly. Still in eighth, actually. And uh, get also pinned against the wall or sent to my death by HSV there. So I've been not dealt the best start in this race, but it does make quite a challenge for a comeback. So I'm always game for that. And Wally is facing the wrong way there. So there's one position already taken back. HSV is also spun out as well in the Porsche, so we're able to uh, go round him. So, up two positions into sixth. You can see Noel in the distance in the uh, Challenge Stradal as well. Sticking quite close to this. This does feel a lot better to drive than that Dodge. I'm really happy to be in this one instead. And uh, could have gone round to the outside of Noel, but I just couldn't steer around him enough. So trying to find a way past, and there it is, undercutting him. So into fifth place now, making a way up the pack. I think Nacho is in the Noble as well. Just a second ahead. And trying to get the nose round there, but completely uh, misjudged that. And nearly spun all the way around, and Noel helped me round there a little bit. Definitely power slided too much around that corner, but still in fifth. Getting rear-ended slightly. But uh, trying to get a drift on round here, which this car doesn't do amazingly well. But a drift around the inside of that apex is the quickest way around that corner. Take that corner fairly well, so get another position over Nacho there. So up into fourth place, we've got Henkow in front in the Porsche again. Taking that corner fairly well, so gaining a lot of ground on him there. And getting a good exit through there, so on the straight, able to just draft for a brief moment and then slingshot past so another position in third coming into the second lap only three laps of this track because it is a very big track and Jerick is in front again and once more Saka seems to have broken away completely he's gone again and getting around this corner challenging the other challenge Stradol in second place see if we can gain any time Jarek manages to crash into the inside of the barrier, so that gives a lot of uh, chance to catch him up. And he does the exact same thing on that one, so... Courtesy of a couple crashes, we're up into second place. Zach is 10 seconds ahead, so I don't think we're going to make that back in two laps. Or oh, one and a half now, isn't it? Taking these couple corners fairly well. Jarek's still just behind, but that is going to be... The end of the action from that race. Nothing really happened from that point. Just stuck in second place. So from my view, couldn't really uh, show you what happened from the other sides of the race. But I make quite a few mistakes. Very hard track that one. So end up finishing nearly 16 seconds behind Sakis. HSV gets third. So we overtook Jerick there. Jerick very close behind in fourth. A few seconds. Henkel pretty close in fifth. And I think Noel was in sixth there. Didn't quite see that. But um, that's going to be it for... The footage from that game night so quite a lot actually happened over the uh, the five episodes quite a lot of content quite a lot of good races but uh, more to come in the future so i'll join you again when we have more races